everybody, welcome back. We're doing another video, this time, uh, surprise, lenses, again. Uh, but this time on the Nisi Athenas, a lens set that I have been personally very excited about since uh, the launch of these and even before. And I will say that after we bought a set here, I am absolutely blown away by these tiny little gems and I'm about to tell you why. So let's get into it. All right, the Nisi Athenas, they are essentially the new trend of micro primes. Uh, they come in PL mount or a variety of mirrorless mounts. Now with the mirrorless mount, you are going to get uh, the ability to do a Nisi drop-in filter, which is pretty fun. Not the case on the PL mounts. But that being said, all of these cover an image circle about and out to VistaVision. So this is actually really great. We've been playing with these on our Fuji GFX 100 that just came out, uh, which we can show some footage of. But these, most of them cover all the way out to the full GFX width of that sensor, which is kind of mind boggling to me that you can get such good performance that is just on the width. You do start to get a good bit of vignetting on the height, but you know, we're all mostly shooting the width anyway. So with that, it's really, really, really cool. It's something this size can cover such a large sensor and do it so well. So price point on these, basically 1200 bucks a piece, or if you buy the set of five, they are roughly, I think 50, 300 bucks. So a fantastic price for what these are and what makes them so fantastic outside of their size and having 77 millimeter fronts to keep things really small and lightweight is really just their performance. Now there's been a trend obviously very recently over the last few years of having more vintage looks and things of that nature. And I feel like Nisi was like, ah, oh, let's do something different. Let's go back to having just good clean optics. So I honestly think these are kind of like little baby signature primes uh, in the sense that one, the performance is fantastic in terms of breathing and chromatic aberration. I have like never seen a set of lenses even remotely close to this price point that performs as well in that uh, in those respective categories. They're all T 1.9 except for the 14 millimeter, which is a T 2.4. Uh, that being said, the wide uh, of the signature primes is also a little bit slower than the T 1.9 in the rest of their focal lengths as well. So even the exterior kind of has that signature prime feel from the paint to the finish. Um, and if you're used to that look, I really do feel like these have a lot of the same characteristics. The only thing, uh, you're not gonna get any smart data that way. You might see some different bokeh performance on the edge since the um, signatures are LPL, these are PL. Uh, that being said though, the, the rear elements in these do protrude pretty far. So it's kind of almost like you're getting these uh, closer to the sensor for light coverage and performance. Uh, that being said though, because these rear elements stick out so far, if you're trying to use something like a, let's say an E to PL adapter that has a built-in cartridge system, most of them will not work. Now the breakthrough does work and clears completely even at infinity. And you'll see on these lenses, that as you pull focus uh, from close to infinity, this rear element travels. So when you are testing these on cartridges, you wanna be sure that your lens is set to infinity when you try this or measure your clearance because that is where it sticks out the farthest. Now, performance wise from a sharpness standpoint, these things are very sharp, even wide open, and look great. If that is a story you're trying to tell with some hyper-realism and just seeing every bit of the image and skin and texture, these do that very well. And they still have a pleasing softness wide open, but they're still very sharp and get sharper as you stop down, obviously. From a distortion standpoint, there's a little bit the wider you go, but it's nothing you couldn't correct in post. And honestly, I kind of like a little distortion myself on some of those wide angle lenses. So that thing to me is kind of a, a pro more than a con.
Because they're so small, you can also do really fun things like get a front anamorphic scope on here as well. We've got these paired with uh, the Ivascopes, which will shoot some footage and show you. But the 35, 50, and uh, 85 all cover just fine and look great when you're shooting in Super 35. And maybe, maybe on the 35 might be just some of my favorite looking flares I've seen from any lens or combo out there. And I think in general, the Ivascope or any scope is going to pair well with a very sharp taking lens, just because you do get so much interesting character and softness uh, from the Ivascope itself. I think it helps give you a little bit more usability through your T-stop range when you're using the uh, adapters. So. That is that, and that's really cool. And honestly, look how compact this is. It almost just feels like an actual lens. Everything is nice and consistent. Super cool uh, from that standpoint as well. So from here, we're just gonna play out any footage we haven't seen. And we've shot this footage on a variety of cameras, the new GFX 102, the Mini LF, and uh, even just a little bit of the Komodo X so we can get that Super 35 anamorphic in 1.5 X on these as well. So enjoy the footage, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, what do you think? You either like neutral, interesting lenses or you want something with more character. That being said, it's always great to have more options in the market because as we all know, we don't control the look. Our clients and our content kind of dictates what we're gonna choose for our lensing. So it's great to have another micro prime in the market that is a more neutral 
uh, look versus something with a little more character. I think that is a wonderful thing to have on set. And these are just gonna work great with gimbals and anything like that as well. Travel, doesn't matter. But these are the Nisi Athenas. Personally, I absolutely love them and think they are worth well, well, well more than what they are priced at. And I gotta give my hat totally off to Nisi for what they've been able to do with these lenses. Uh, they've been very well thought out and they have been very meticulously built and constructed and thought has gone into the aesthetic. It's all very consistent. And in general, I can't wait to see the other focal lengths they put out in this set because I will be the first one in line to pick those up uh, for any of the stuff I shoot or for rentals. I think these are gonna be very popular at their price point for a rental as well. So if you haven't played with them, go check them out. And as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel so we can put out more content like this in the future. Catch you next time. Thank you.